In voice attack, you can enter ranges of numbers as potentially being part of what you're going to say. But the system is limited in that it can't take too wide a range of possibilities. And it will warn you if the command you entered has over 99 possibilities. You can ignore this, although it will begin to be less accurate with the numbers, and will struggle beyond a few hundred. Voice attack does have a prefix and suffix system, if you want pairs of commands to do things according to which came first and second, or if you don't want to have to write the careful code to parse the text between them. With this, you can put the digits 0 to 9 as both a prefix and a suffix, but you can't chain them together, so it only allows you to say two digits, which is something you can do with the other method far more easily. Numbers 1 Numbers 1-2 one, 1-2-3 two. One, two, 1, 2. Note also that when you want to say single digits as a command, voice attack recognizes them as words. So I've had to give different possibilities up here, and set up all these if conditionals to account for that. It's a little cumbersome, but you only have to do it once, and then you can copy it into each new profile. It is still possible to give voice attack a large number by using careful commands and loops, whilst also having very few command possibilities. There are a few ways of doing this, depending on whether you want the number in question to be a decimal or an integer, and whether you want it typed or just stored internally for some maths. However you do it, it only takes two commands. In the first one, you say a digit from 0 to 9, or cancel. The second command depends on how many digits you are going to send. You can have a fixed number of digits for this, or a varying number. If you wanted to do a fixed number of digits, you just remove the number range from the input, and set the value L equal to your intended number of digits. In this system, I call out the number of digits in my intended number, then say the digits one by one. If I made an error, or started with too few or too many digits, I can say cancel to end the process. If I wanted all the remaining digits to be zeros, I could add a command finished, which would finish the process and stop waiting for me to speak new digits. This command takes the intended length of the number, duplicates the value into a, then runs this little loop which sets t equal to 10 to the power of a. It then resets the value of a, and sets the end value n equal to 0. It then starts a loop until a equals 0, and within that sets b equal to 0, and then runs a loop for as long as b is equal to 0. Now in my digits command, it takes in the digit I've said, setting number to that value, then sets k equal to that number, and sets b equal to 1. This means that as soon as I've set a digit, the second loop in the other command ends. Note that if I say cancel, it ends the other command. Assuming I've sent a digit, this internal loop ends, it multiplies the incoming digit by t, and adds it to n. So if I needed a four-digit number, t would be equal to 1000, and if I set a 3, then 3000 would be added to n, which is the first part of constructing the number that is more than 3000. Then it divides t by 10 so it's ready for the next digit, reduces a by 1 to help with keeping track of how many digits we've done, then goes back to the start of this outer loop. It sets b equal to 0 again, then hangs here until I say another digit, adds it onto n, hangs again until I say another one, and so on until I've said every digit. Note that it helps to have some sort of audible indicator that your digit has been received. Voice Attack has a small library of sounds that it can play, but only once you've gone into settings and select audio output type to be integrated components. Then in other sounds play a sound, you can choose from a long drop-down menu. Alternatively, you can put the right token in its internal text-to-speech system to read your digit back to you right after you've set it. In this case, it will give the integer value of k. If I hold my mouse over where it says two commands, it says 32 derived commands. As far as the system is concerned, between these two commands, there are only a few dozen possibilities, instead of the hundreds or thousands that result from the old method. Note also that if you say digits while the second command is not running, it just sets a couple of values and nothing happens, so you are secured against weird consequences. Once you've entered all your digits, you can do what you like with the number n. Here I've got it being set to the clipboard and then pasted, but if you needed it for complex maths, you can do that as well. Here is a short demonstration. Two-digit number. Three. 
three. Eight. 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 Four digit number. Eight. Eight. One. One. Seven. Seven. Two. Two. Seven digit number. Three. Three. Six. Six. Two. Two. Eight. 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 Zero. Zero. O. Oh. Zero. There are some other things you can do with this setup. If you wanted to be setting a decimal, that's a bit trickier, as you'd need to be giving a number of digits but also knowing how many until the decimal point. You could give both numbers at the start, and then reduce the value of t so that it is the right order of magnitude for the first digit. Note that you will need to change every single integer variable into a decimal variable, because voice attack will not do arithmetic with both types of variable at once. Also, passing two separate numbers in an input gets very tricky, so it would be easier to set them separately. If you only wanted to be typing out a number, and didn't need to be storing its whole value for doing maths, then you can make a much simpler system. You would modify the digits command so that it only does anything important when a variable is switched, and have another command for switching that variable. You say the second command, then read out your digits one at a time, which are sent to the clipboard and pasted, including decimal points if you wanted to. Once you're done, you say finished. Finished will switch the key variable back, so that from now on when you say something that sounds like a digit, nothing happens. Another outcome from this is that you don't need the sound notification, because you can visually tell that your digit has been received. Here is a short demonstration. 1, 7, 6, send digits, 1, 7, 6, 2, 9, 3, 8, 0, 8, finished. I have an important use case for sending numbers like this, so cracking this is very useful, and a much better alternative to putting 1.5000 in my command. Obviously you can extend this to putting other symbols between the digits, though always make sure to test how your command is received by voice attack, as it may not receive your symbol the way you intend it, as happens with solitary digits and numbers. My favourite example of this is 11, which comes out as Roman numerals.